How's it going guys? Winter Kills here. Welcome back to a brand new test hand video for Block Dragon BA. It's been a little while since we've done one of these and I wanted to revisit the deck. Um, as lately I've been uh, focusing on a lot of other decks. Uh, Mermail, Infinitrack Trains, uh, Pure Mech Knight, uh, which I've all done like testing sessions for and deck profiles and things like that. So if you guys haven't checked them out, please do so um, if those are decks that interest you. But of course, how could I forget about my beloved Block Dragon BA deck? Um, you know, what was my main competitive focus uh, deck when, you know, tournaments and everything were still happening? Um, this was this was my go-to deck uh, to take to locals, to take to events, uh, OTSs, regionals, whatever it may be. I was actually planning on taking this deck to a few more uh, events uh, before everything started getting canceled, obviously. Not much we can do about that, but... Uh, I figured I'd, uh, you know, bring the deck back and uh, we'd do a little uh, sit down and uh, do some test hands. And you might notice here, just at the top of the build, um, are two copies of Orbital Hydrolander. Um, if you guys want the current list that I'm using, I don't think it's changed too much since uh, previous profile, the previous profile. Um, but if you want the current deck list that I'm using for this video, it's down in the description. Uh, it'll be all listed out. Um, but I'm trying out two Orbital Hydrolanders, you know, since the dangers are all at one, um, the chance of this card conflicting uh, while still being able to play the dangers, you know, I figured it'd be a good reason enough to try it uh, in the main deck. It's a 41 card list. Um, I cut a, I, cut, I believe I cut a Defrag Dragon uh, for one of them and just added in the second Hydrolander. Um, extra deck is 100% the same. Nothing has changed there. Um, but uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to this video. If you are, drop a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, also, a quick shout out, of course, to Imperium Duelist, provider of this amazing playmat that I'm using, and many others available on their website. And these sleeves that I'm rocking here on the main deck are from Imperium Duelist as well. Same thing on the extra deck, uh, the two-toned color sleeves. Some of the best sleeves, hands down, I've ever used. Uh, and if you guys want to pick up any of the stuff, or even maybe a brand new deck box like this one here, um, all available on their site. Um, you know, you can get it all for 10% off using that discount code WINTERKILLS10 OFF. You can also support the channel in the process. And of course, if you guys are buying anything on TCG Player, I say it all the time. Don't forget to use that affiliate link down in the description below. Uh, if you buy anything using that link, uh, you'll help support the channel at no extra cost to you. So it does go a long way. And of course, lastly, consider hitting that join button down below to become a member of the channel to get in on some exclusive perks and rewards behind the scenes of upcoming videos, sneak peeks, uh, bloopers and outtakes, and of course a dedicated spot uh, for those select few at the end of all my videos uh, in the credits, so to speak. So with that all out of the way, a little introduction, uh, we're going to go ahead and draw our first test hand here. Just try to shuffle while getting all that uh, said, so we kind of kill two birds with one stone. Uh, but let's see what our opening hand is. Uh, okay, uh, we're getting very, very lucky, as you can see, with this very first test hand. Um, very, very good test hand here, nonetheless, so at least it will turn out to be, I hope so. Unless we just absolutely have the worst luck possible, then things could probably go south. Uh, I'm going to start with the Gallus the Star Beast uh, immediately. We'll see what we turn over. It's a copy of Mathematician. No big deal there. That really doesn't hurt our chances in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I want to save the Sekka's Light, uh, if at all possible, until after we get Seer Graph out of the deck. Um, just because uh, that way we don't have to worry about drawing them off of the Sekka's Light. Because they are very, very important engine pieces that do not work so well when in our hand. Uh, so we're going to commit the normal summon here uh, to the Sea Archiver. Now hindsight is 20-20. If we would have started with the Sekka's Light, yeah, we could have drawn into Mathematician. Um, but then, you know, maybe we draw into Seer alongside it, and, you know, especially in a case like this where Libic is in our hand, um, you know, it's, it's gonna make things a lot more difficult, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna normal summon, commit the normal summon of Sierra Kyver, which isn't a totally terrible normal summon, uh, if you ask me. Um, it's actually not too bad at all. So down we'll go into Cherubini, um, let me slide this down a bit here so you guys can see a bit more of that extra monster zone up there. Okay, that looks good. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to go into Cherubini. We'll use its effect here. Um, just checking the graveyard. Uh, we could actually send Rhino Warrior here, uh, just because it'll help make our Hydrolander live a bit faster. Um, and it'll give us a total of three years. So if we do hit a Block Dragon, it will become live uh, immediately. There's the graph. But let's go ahead and find that Rhino Warrior. 
Now at this point, uh, some things to note, if they do like hit an ash on the graph, um, which you should always save the ash of the graph, not the rhino warrior. Um, if they do, we still have, you know, a Libic in hand to follow up with the Sekka's Light with the Hydrolander. So, you know, it's not, we're not too, uh, totally in a bad spot with this hand, which is nice. Um, you can tell some hands with this deck are like, if you get ashed, your play is over. Uh, this is not one of those hands. Uh, we have a, quite a few other options left to work with in our hand. So now that we've uh, summoned the Seer off of the Graph, Graph obviously being sent by the Rhino and that by the Cherubini. So um, now at this point, we do have five monsters in Grave with all different names. So we could potentially summon the Hydrolander, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to sec his light here and we draw into Sangan and Gigantes. Uh, not the greatest draws. I'm going to immediately burn that uh, graveyard effect of Sekka's Light. And I'm going to put back uh, the Libic because we do not need Libic currently. And see if we can draw into something better. Uh, like another Gallus would be really good. Uh, yeah, another Gallus would be very good. Or any of the Psychic Monsters or Gilosaurus. Uh, let's see what we draw into. We draw into a Recover. That's not too bad either because if we get to Saryuja, um, you know, we can make uh real real easy work of getting this thing out onto the field so what i'm gonna go do now is special summon the orbital hydrolander of course to the zone that cherubini points to uh one for you know a couple reasons uh a, it'll stay on the board if it gets like ghost ogre or something because it can't be destroyed by card effects since it is being pointed to by cherubini but it'll also trigger our c archiver uh, and that'll get us out of the grave to basically uh help make our dante so now we're gonna use hydrolander uh, and we're going to target the Seer, uh, if it does go through. So we're going to mill a Gallus, so it's already missing, uh, which is fine. And we mill another Hydrolander. But it's done its job. We've basically milled an extra three cards deep into our deck. Um, now we can have Dante go even a bit further. Uh, we're going to overlay into Dante, of course. Uh, we'll detach the, the Sea Archiver, uh, and then we'll mill an additional three, which ends up being Foolish Burial. Uh, Danger Suchinoko and Tour Guide, so not the greatest. Good thing we've already resolved Sekka's Light, so the fact that we mill that Foolish Burial does not matter whatsoever. Uh, but now we're going to Special Summon Gigantes, since we have plenty of Earths in the graveyard, we'll banish that. Uh, actually, yeah, it doesn't really matter what we banish here. We don't need to worry about duplicates, since both of the Hydrolanders are out of the deck currently. Uh, but now we're going to go into our first Saryuja, and see what we can make happen here. Build our Chain Links as follows. Chain Link 1... Uh, Chainlink 2, Chainlink 3, Dante will target Seer, Seer targets Dante, etc, etc. Always like to put this Dante on the far left if I can help it. Um, we'll see, we draw Edge of Sabers, Block Dragon, Block Dragon, and Rescue Ferret. So those are some really good draws. Now the reason, well, another reason I guess why I wanted to make this a video is because uh, I realized with the rise of the Adamancipators, our, our, our little boy Block Dragon here has gotten entangled up with the wrong group of people. And uh, he might get hit on the next upcoming list, which really, really sucks to say. Um, because this isn't, the, you know, this deck right here uh, isn't the reason it's getting hit. It's some other deck that is playing him at one, which just really sucks. It's getting caught in the crossfires, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, so we drew Rescue Ferret, so you know what that means. We're easily putting back the Seer. We're easily putting back the Recover, because we're just going to get that off of our, uh, our Rescue Ferret. And I'm also going to put back... Uh, the Sangan, because we don't really need that either. Uh, now we're going to use Saryusha's effect here to special summon Rescue Ferret. We'll use Rescue Ferret to put itself back in the deck, summon up to, uh, you know, monsters whose total level equals 6, up to the zone link monsters point two. So we're going to go with that Recover, obviously. And we're going to go with that Dotscaper, and last but not least, that copy of Giant Rex. Now, we do have ourselves a Curious Guaranteed right here, but the thing is, um, we don't really, like, entirely need it at this point. Um, everything is so stacked at this point. It's really, we're really in a good position. Like, if we really wanted to, we could go to Curious just to get, like, a little bit of extra, um, extra juice. Uh, but we just really, really don't, like, 100% need to. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Um, just because I want to. Uh, so we're gonna make, uh, Curious. Uh, Chain Links will be, uh, actually we're not gonna use any effective Dotscaper here because, again, I think it's better to leave it in the grave. Uh, to have it get banished off of something like Block Dragon, to have it summon out that way. Um, that way you sort of get double use out of it. Uh, but here, let's see what we have in our graveyard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send Gizmek, just because, you know, really don't want to send anything else. We still have to be kind of careful of the precious cargo left within the main deck, which is that of the Fossil Dina. Um, even if that does get milled here, 
it won't be too big of a deal, and I was really hoping that wasn't going to happen, but um, it is what it is. Uh, the, the worst thing about uh, getting this card into the graveyard is that it, it immediately lets your opponent know that they just need to save the Nibiru for the activation, uh, or even just the summon of your Levier, because that's going to be your like last thing that you do. Um, but now we just need to get level 3s uh, like there's no tomorrow, so we're going to special summon Block Dragon now. And luckily we have Edgem Sabres in our hand. We're going to banish this, we're going to banish Fossil Dyna, uh, and we're going to banish Dotscaper. Uh, and then Dotscaper will summon itself. Uh, and we're going to use the Dotscaper to turn itself into a uh, Lingaribo so we can help prevent from evenly matched. Those pesky main deck evenly matched or impermanence. Uh, it really doesn't make too big of a difference here. Uh, then we're going to link all of these off into a copy of Saryuja. Our second copy to be exact. And we're going to put it over here on the left side uh, so we can have all three arrows open since we are a very link heavy deck. Uh, chain links will be as follows. Chain link 1. Chaining 2, Chaining 3, Dante's going to go way back and add that copy of Graft sitting in our graveyard. Now we're going to use the effect of Block Dragon to go ahead and add two uh, Gigantes from our deck to our hand, two Rock Monsters whose total level is equal to 8. Technically we could do up to 3, but we have to do up to 3, not 3 exactly. Uh, we'll cut the deck before we draw 4 more cards. We draw a Gibasaurus, which is what we need to see, Scrap Recycler, uh, Seer, and 4th copy, 4th card ends up being, uh, so I mean... It couldn't work out any better. We're going to put back all three BAs back into the deck, just like that. Now, we're going to go ahead and special summon the Gilasaurus uh, via its own effect. Uh, we have free reign to do whatever we want now with the Saryuja because we don't need to worry about using its special summon effect to get Fossil Dine out of our hand. So, we're going to use it to special summon the Scrap Recycler. And with that, we're going to have it special summon, or not special summon, but send that copy of Mecha Phantom Beast Lion to the graveyard. Uh, and that's going to be nice. Uh, for a couple of reasons, because uh, we'll get a free token, a free extender out of that. And we'll put this token right here. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to put it over here, because I think we're going to want the Levier here. Now, we need to decide uh, with how many cards we have left in our deck. And we're playing one more card total, since I am playing 41 cards. Uh, we need to uh, establish, uh, you know, the main pieces of our end board. Um, and we need to also count how many cards are in our extra deck as well to make sure if Recover is live or not at this point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So Recover is live considering our opponent is playing, you know, a, uh, a standard 15-card extra deck, which in most cases they will be. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and overlay into Levier the Sea Dragon. Uh, now here we're going to Special Summon the Gigantes. Uh, and we're going to banish just any random earth here. We'll banish another Gigantes. And then we'll pay the 2,000 off of Recover to summon itself. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and Synchro here. The Recover will get banished, but we're going to get our Nat Beast uh, in the process. Uh, and again, we don't need to worry about uh, this Sardusia sort of staying on the field. We can go ahead and get rid of it any way we see fit. Uh, so we're going to special summon another Gigantes. We'll just banish another Gigantes. We'll link a token and this Gigantes. Some nice, uh, common, relaxing board building going on right here, if I do say so myself. Uh, so we got ourselves a Nightmare Phoenix established. We're going to special summon this Block Dragon by banishing this Earth here, this Earth here. Um, and what else do we have? We have some more Earths in their graveyard. Do we not? Yes, we do. Uh, so those three. And then we're going to link these two off into a copy of Nightmare Cerberus. Linking those two off into a copy of Avermax. Last but not least, we're going to summon that Block Dragon one more time. Uh, should be the last time. Now, this is the point. If our opponent was smart, if they knew the exact workings of this deck and what it meant exactly if you uh, were to be so unlucky to mill your Fossil Dyna, uh, you would want to save the Nibiru for literally right about now. Um, I, I, I mean, I guess you could do it on the activation of the Levier, uh, be, to be, like, entirely sure. Um, because, as you can see... Levier's summon wasn't the last summon we were making before the the uh, the fossil Dyna comes out, um, as you can see the block dragon is. But at this point, all things considered, we go ahead and detach the scrap recycler uh, to summon a banished one uh, from you know from our banished zone. But technically, if we wanted to be like super ultra omega safe, um, you know you could Gizmek here and toss away another eight cards, but I'm not going to because we don't really need it since we do have Block Dragon on board alongside uh, Avermax. So at this point, we're just going to go ahead and detach the Scrap Recycler. And uh, of course, as you may have guessed, summon out that Fossil Dyna that we banished way back in the earlier stages of this combo. 
Uh, so that leaves us with our full board. Uh, we do have them, you know, the the vanity's emptiness essentially. All rock type monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. We can turn off any spells. Uh, potentially uh, one, two, three, four, five, six spells with those cards there. Uh, we have the Lingaribo to protect from main deck evenly matched and permanence. Um, the only thing we uh, lose to right now is Dark Ruler No More Raw Sphere Mode, um, which are those are some uh, pretty hard uh, cards to come by, especially game one. So that was it for that test, and we'll go ahead and do another one. All right, so we're just about done shuffling, and I'm going to go ahead and say this now because I'm probably going to get asked a bunch of comments about this, and the answer will be the same to all of them. What happens if Block Dragon gets banned? Well, the answer is plain and simple. This deck really doesn't work anymore because, you know, it's Block Dragon BA. So without the Block Dragon, we we just have essentially just BA, which is what I'll go back to. I'll probably just go back to a more traditional trap-heavy build of blo uh, of Burning Abyss, which I'm, I'm okay with, but I'm definitely going to miss this deck because uh, it's definitely one of my favorite decks of all time at this point. Um, we open up Hydrolander again. We have Defrag Dragon, Gigantes, Block Dragon, and this last card really needs to come in clutch, and it's level 3. Okay, very, very good. Um, that, that was that was looking pretty grim there. So let's go ahead and special summon uh, this Gallus and see what we burn. We burn for uh, 800. That's not too bad right there. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and special summon the Defrag Dragon by discarding the Block Dragon. And as you might have guessed, we're going to go ahead and go right into our Cherubini. And we're going to get our Hydrolander live immediately. Uh, not, I guess, immediately, but we're getting there uh, pretty quickly. Uh, now with this particular hand, this is another hand where I think sending Rhino Warrior is a good idea. That way we can get this Block Dragon going uh, as soon as possible. Because with a very weak opening like this, uh, we're going to need it. And this is one of those hands if... If we get ashed here, um, you know, summon the Hydrolander and pass, really. Uh, there's not a whole lot to be said. This is just one of those very weak hands. Um, and I suppose you could also make Dingirsu if you wanted to as well, because, uh, you know, not only uh, is Gizmek and uh, Block Dragon help to make Dingirsu, but so can Hydrolander as well. Um, so yeah, we have that out of the way. We give the deck a quick cut. Uh, the one thing we really need here is uh, we haven't normal summoned at all with this hand, so... Uh, getting access to a normal summon would be very, very nice, but we just don't have a way to do that. We're going to special summon Hydrolander. We're going to use its effect. We're going to mill three. We mill Sangan. We mill Gigantes, and we mill Fossil Dina. Milling Fossil Dina again, uh, not good at all. Now, this Hydrolander does go through, uh, so what we can do is just target uh, the Seer, and then, of course, Cherubini will protect it. It uh, doesn't target, but you get what I mean. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't get destroyed because of its own effect. Now... At this point, uh, the only real play I have here uh, would be to, uh, and this is where the occasional idea of me playing a rank 4 in here like Dweller has come up sometimes, or at least the thought has come up um, to play a Dweller because we have easy access to a rank 4, but it's only because we got lucky and milled uh, the Giant Rex at the very beginning of this combo. Um, other options coming to mind right now are trying to make like Appalooza, um, with Hydrolander, um, perhaps maybe a Ding, uh, oh, but we do have access to a Curious right here, um, that could be pretty nice, but we just need a way to draw cards, uh, as, as elementary as that sounds, we need a way to draw cards, uh, and what I think I'm gonna do now is actually Special Summon Block Dragon, we'll banish the Giant Rex, uh, the... Rhino Warrior and the Gallus. We're going to summon out the Giant Rex. Uh, and I'm going to put my Banish cards over here. Uh, this is in our hand. Now we're going to go ahead and link off uh, the Block Dragon, the Seer, the Cherubini, and we'll go with the Hydrolander as well. We're going to go right into our first star. Usually we don't have Dante uh, going for us here, which is unfortunate. So we're going to have to go Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, Chain Link 3. We're going to target that Cherubini, get that back on board. At least we get something out of it. And we're going to go ahead and add, I believe, the last uh, two copies of Gigantes. Can we even resolve Block Dragon here? No, because we have a Gigantes in our grave and a Fossil Dina. Um, so we leaves us with just one Gigantes left in deck, actually. So we can only search another copy of Block Dragon here, which isn't too bad at the end of the day. Um, at least we get, you know, that sort of good number to have in our hand of cards before we resolve our strategy, which is two. Um, I think two is a good number, like a bare minimum. Uh, any less than that, it's just diminishing return so deck has been cut we draw into another gigantes uh o-lion block dragon and scrap recycler scrap recycler is certainly better to see here than 
I guess anything else. We haven't normal summoned yet. Uh, we'll put back a block dragon. We'll put back uh, a Gigantes. And we will put back... Let's see here. Uh, the O-Lion. Now, we can keep the O-Lion. Uh, we can leave that on the field, actually. We can get that on the field, actually, by uh, the Saryuja effect. Uh, and we'll put back this other block dragon. I don't think we'll need all three block dragons with this hand. Now we're going to use Saryuja to special summon O-Lion. And we'll normal summon that Scrap Recycler, since we have yet to do that. We're going to use Scrap Recycler to dump the only other target we have in our main deck, which is that Gizmek Orochi. Now, here I'm trying to think about how we can get to a possible uh, Curious. Um, that way we can get access to Recover. Because uh, Recover will help us make Nat Beast, which is one of the you know cards we really, really need. And Nat Beast is a fantastic card in this current meta. Uh, so, we could link these two off for uh, a Cerberus and then special summon the Gigantes. And that way we would have a Dinosaur, a Fiend, and a Rock. Uh, that way we get to keep our Saryuja up here. Because um, I usually don't like linking off Saryuja's four Curiouses if I can help it. So we're going to special summon this. I guess we don't even need to make Nightmare Cerberus. Um, that's just a miscalculation on my behalf. So we'll go ahead and link... Well, the thing is, if we keep... We're going to like want this card in our hand still. Because if we get rid of this card... Um, then we're going to have a harder time making that beast. Because we're going to be out of like just level fours to kind of... Uh, just to summon out. Um, so actually, I think we are going to have to go that route, unfortunately, of linking into uh, Cerberus. We'll go right there. We'll get our token. Uh, and then we're going to summon Block Dragon, because I think now we should have enough Earths in Grave to summon it out. Yep, just like that. The last three Earths in our Grave, to be exact. Uh, and now we're going to link off the Dinosaur, the Rock, and the Fiend for Curious. And we also get our token out of the uh, O-Line, which is nice. So now we're going to use this effect here. We're going to send... That recover to the grave. And then we're going to mill three. And then we're probably just going to go into another Saryuja. The only unfortunate part of that is the fact that we won't have anything to chain block with. Um, but yeah, that's that's the worst part. We mill Foolish. We mill Tracker. We mill Wielder. Uh, and at this point, I don't think we've gone through enough extra deck monsters. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so we're still a bit short here. Uh, now we're just going to go ahead and link all of these off into a copy of Saryuja. We don't have anything to chain link block here, unfortunately. Uh, so our best bet now is to just draw our four cards, and hopefully it's something good. Uh, there's Mathematician. Oh, there's Sekka's Light, but we cannot use it because we unfortunately mill the Foolish Burial. Uh, very rarely in testing have these cards have conflicted um, like this, but obviously it is bound to happen. So this card will just go back. That's easy enough for us to decide. Uh, the Gigantes we do need to keep, uh, the Archiver we don't really need to keep, uh, and the Mathman we don't need to keep. I would like to keep the Dotscaper if at all possible, just because, uh, it can help us make Lingary, but is also an extra Earth monster. Uh, now at this point, I believe we are at the threshold, uh, to be able to summon Recover. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we are at the threshold. Uh, so we're gonna pay 2,000. We're gonna summon out Recover. And we're going to summon this out by banishing the Saryuja. And then we're going to synchro four. This will get banished, actually. Uh, we're going to synchro four Nat Beast. And we're going to put it here since we'll get that attack boost out of it. Now we're going to summon Block Dragon by banishing that, uh, banishing the Dotscaper, and by banishing the Psychic Wielder. The Psychic Weed Dealer, whatever you want to call him. Uh, where's our Block Dragon? It's in Grave still. See, so yeah, we'll put that here. Uh, the. Dotscaper will summon itself back. That goes there. We're going to link now into... This goes back to the grave. Uh, for Lingaribo. Uh, then at this point... Hmm. Not much else to be done other than summoning Gizmek Orochi. Uh, by banishing uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. Take a look at what we banished real quick. Tour guide would have been very, very nice to have early on. I think we have a Scrap Recycler banish, which is really clutch because that'll make our Dingirsu much more beefy. Uh, then we can go ahead and overlay into said Dingirsu. Uh, I don't think there's a way with this one that we're getting uh, Fossil Dina out, uh, which is rather unfortunate. I mean, I suppose 
we could have took a different route after resolving that Saryuja there. Um, which would have been to keep the Mathematician, uh, put back the Seconds Light, put back the Dotscaper. Yeah, so, I mean, we technically probably could have made a Levier, but I think that would have entailed us having to put back the Gigantes, because I believe when we were resolving our Saryuja, we just had Seconds Light, Dotscaper, Gigantes, Mathematician, and Sea Archiver. So we have to put back any of those three, or three of any of those uh, five. Uh, and if we wanted to keep, uh, you know, the rank three play, we would have needed to put back the Sekka's Light, the Dotscaper, and the Gigantes to special summon the Mathman to trigger the Sea Archiver um, to even get into that play. Uh, and then we, I don't think we'd even have any pr protection for our uh, our Fossil Dyna. Maybe we could have made uh, a Dingirsa still, but we wouldn't have had Nat Beast either. Um, I still feel like having Nat Beast is still really good. Uh, with the particular, and like in this particular format, I feel like Nat Beast is still really, really good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to spend too much time dwelling on that. Uh, there was probably a way, going back to the footage, there's, I could have possibly made, uh, Levier with Ding, but just no Nat Beast. Uh, it really depends. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and shuffle and do another test hand. I am also, I am also a little bit rusty with this deck, so I do apologize for any blaring mistakes. Alright, so I'm done shuffling, and also going back to that last hand, I think if we go, would have gone for the Levier play, we would have had to put back the Dotscaper, which means we wouldn't have had Lingaribo for protection either, and speaking of Dotscaper, there he is. So, in this opening hand, we are lucky, unlucky enough to draw the Fossil Dyna, and this is what we would call uh, a dead hand. Um, for the most part, I mean, we could possibly still make it work if we mill an Earth Monster off of our Gallus, and we mill a Psychic Tracker, uh, which is not uh, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, so we could supposedly banish that, and then normal summon the Dotscaper here. We have a Cybers, a Rock, and a Beast. We're gonna try to make it work as much as we possibly can until we get stopped, you know, you know, dead in our tracks. Uh, we're gonna send Block Dragon, because that's like the most valuable piece that we could possibly want to get to right now. Uh, that would be of use to us in the graveyard. Uh, and then we're gonna mill three uh, and see what we can mill. Anything useful? Tour guide? Nope. Gilosaurus? Nope. And another Gallus? Not quite what we were looking for. Uh, we did have to burn our normal summon. Uh, right now, I'm trying to figure out a way to at least get, like, Dingirsu Fossil Dyna. That's, like, the only thing uh, at this point, like, the bare minimum that I'm trying to get to is, like, a protected Vanity's Emptiness. Um, but we gotta try to get to a Saryuja, which is easier said than done. Uh, the only thing I'm seeing right now is to special summon the Block Dragon by banishing these three. Dotscaper will summon itself. Uh, then we're going to need to do some sort of link shenanigans. We're going to need to multiply our links. We, we need a bare minimum of uh, making the Saryuja with just three, uh, you know, three different names. Uh, because if we do that, then we can get the effect to special summon uh, a monster from our hand. Uh, and that will be, of course, the Fossil Dyna. Alright, so I think the play is going to be to link these two off into Cerberus. The reason I don't like this play as much is because we don't have a way to chain block our Block Dragon Search, uh, which makes this play all the risky, but hey, we're in dire straits as is, so there's really not much, uh, you know, we're going to be able to do to make this situation any better. Um, we're just trying to make it work for a bare minimum here. We're going to special summon now uh, this Gigantes by banishing the Gilas or not the Gilas Horse, the uh, Gallus. It doesn't make too big of a difference. Uh, we just need to hope that we have enough Earths and Grave uh, for when we uh, summon our we can summon our Block Dragon one last time. Uh, so we're going to summon this Saryuja. Uh, we don't get to draw off of it uh, because we only use three different names. Uh, but now the next thing to do would be to banish three more, uh, just like that. So we do have plenty of resources. Uh, and now we can go ahead and special summon the Gizmek by banishing two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Not drawing Fossil Dyna, that's for sure. Uh, and then we're going to overlay into the Dingirsu. We do not have any Banished Machines right now uh, to be able to reattach. And then we use the Saryuja's effect to go ahead and Special Summon that Fossil Dyna. So, th with as bad as a hand as that was, um, we are able to at least get to Dingirsu Fossil Dyna. So... And I feel like in some cases showing a combo like this is a bit more valuable than showing the full combo because you guys have probably seen that 
you know, hundreds of times. Um, but this is a little bit different. This is what to do when you don't have, you know, nearly close to what you need. Um, and we have one earth engrave um, for next turn, so we could at least bare minimum get the Gigantes out to push for damage if they clear something. Uh, we have Hydralander coming up as a potential draw too, so it's not bad. It could be way, way worse, uh, essentially. So yeah, that's going to do it for this test hand. We'll go ahead and do another one, and then we'll do, I believe, one more after that. All right, so the deck has been shuffled. Let's go ahead and see if we have better luck on this fourth test hand for the video. We have Mathematician, so that's already... Ooh, Seer. Seer wanted to pay us a visit, and... Okay, so this hand, though, is... It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, we're going to summon Mathematician, obviously, and then we're going to use it to send the Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion. We get to actually pull off uh, the standard Block BA combo uh, at least for the most part uh, then we're gonna link these two off of course into the coveted cherubini and then we use cherubini's effect uh gauging here yeah we do need rhino warrior well i mean usually i don't always uh send rhino warrior right off cherubini but this is just i guess uh variants kind of going in the favor of rhino warrior uh so now what we're gonna do is send graph and this is why we play libic um, because Libic is going to be very, very clutch in getting this Seer out of our hand. Uh, and sort of help us extend a little further. Um, like, honestly, I feel like in some cases, uh, you know, playing like playing a combo out like this is actually a bit nicer. Uh, because when you detach off your Seer, you get, or detach off your Dante, you get the Seer out. Um, and that just gives you another extender. Whereas, like, normally you're not detaching the Seer, so you're not getting any of the cards, which forces you to have two other extenders to go along to, like, keep moving on with your combo. Uh, so I find this to be very, very nice. So now we're going to special summon the Gilasaurus, uh, and then we're going to overlay into that none other Dante Traveler of the Burning Abyss. We're detaching Libic here, and we're going to mill a Tour Guide, a Sekka's Light, and a Gizmak Orochi. Not too bad. Uh, the Sekka's Light being engraved is actually really nice because that means, um, like, this is actually one of the, the best case scenarios, uh, obviously, for milling any of your spells in here. I'm only playing two spells. Um, the Foolish and the Sekas, but if we use the Graveyard Effect of Sekas Light, we can still use Foolish Burial when we draw it, um, because Sekas only locks you out of other spells and traps if you use the effect in hand to draw two, uh, so keep that in mind. So, uh, now we're going to use Libic, that will summon out Seer, and since we, uh, I believe we have the resources to do so, uh, we do have to do an early Gigantes here, but it's fine, it's going to be worth it, because we'll be able to resolve Pretty much our, you know, all of the big chain links, the, all the effects that we want to resolve here in our very first Saryuja, uh, which is nice. Uh, so we're going to banish those three. Only Earths left in our grave. Put those over there. And then we're going to link off. Uh, we don't, we can leave the just, yeah, we'll leave the Giant Rex. We're going to leave the Giant Rex. We're going to link off all of these. Chain links will be as follows. Uh, Saryuja chain link one. Uh, Block Dragon chain link two. Seer chain link three. Dante chain link four. Dante target Seer. Seer target Dante etc etc and then we're going to resolve that block dragon really really nice to resolve that effect here under that first saryuja always very very clutch uh, and that this way we don't have to you know worry about our our chances increasing as the deck gets thinner and thinner of like milling uh you know a fossil dying off of like something uh like curious so we're it's out of the deck it's safe it's in our hands uh we're good on that front so now we're gonna cut the deck and draw one there's rescue ferret two three four uh, really, really good draws here. Like, some, some savagery level draws. Uh, we're gonna put back one of the Galluses. Completely fine with that. Actually, the Rescue Ferret, not, not super great here. Mainly because the Giant Rex is on the board, and the O-Lion is exhausted. So, technically, the way this is playing out now, we don't have a way to effectively resolve... Uh, our 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 ferrets. Um, now, if we didn't uh, have O Lion in the deck, usually the plan is like if you if you see any of the main three pieces are already out of the deck, like let's say uh, early on Giant Rex is out of the deck, or uh, Dotscaper, or uh, the Recover. Uh, you usually the go-to is to go with uh, you know a three, a two, and a one. Obviously, the two being O Lion, the only level two in the deck, uh, allowing you to get out that clutch level one you might need, like Recover. Um, but we don't have that option. Um, and I, I guess, granted, we could still keep Ferret to get access to something like 
uh, CR Kyver and San San Sangan. Um, so actually, I think I am going to do that. I am going to do that because those two options sound really good uh, nonetheless. So we're going to use Rescue Ferret here and we're going to get uh, this level three. And unfortunately, we cannot get, uh, can't get access to our pal Recover just yet. But we're, uh, we're close. We're getting there. We're working on it. But from this point, let's go ahead and link Sangan and Sea Archiver into a copy of Nightmare Cerberus. We'll use Sangan to go ahead and grab a copy of Gilosaurus, turning off the downside of Gilosaurus. And then we can go ahead and special summon Gilosaurus. And then we have a dino. Well, that's that would be two dinos. So we don't need to special summon Gilosaurus here. We can you go for the Gallus. Uh, we mill the Psychic Tracker. Uh, we do have the option here to use the Sierra Kyber, but we're not going to. But we're going to take the Dino, the Fiend, and the Beast to go all the way into a Curious. And we're going to go ahead and use Curious as a fact. Now we're going to dump that Recover to the Grave um, and really not care too much uh, about what we mill. Because so we do have uh, a Gigantes in hand, so if we... I'm not sure what our extra deck count is right now, um, but we should be ready to go for Nat Beast. Uh, there's Foolish, there's Block Dragon, and there's Gigantes. So, checking our extra deck right now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the recover is live and well. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is special summon Gigantes. Uh, now, I think this maybe might be a hand where we might not need a second Saryuja. This is very rare, but it is a thing that can happen. Uh, we're going to summon recover out. We're going to pay the 2k. And now what we're going to do here is Synchro. This gets banished. That goes to the graveyard. And we're going to summon Nat Beast right here. And then on that summon of Nat Beast, we're going to use Sea Archiver. Because uh, that will help us to make uh, Lingaribo since it is a level 4 lower Cybers. Just like that. Now, actually, we are going to need a second Saryuja. Because, I mean, who am I kidding? We pretty much always need the second Saryuja. Just for getting the Fossil Dina out of our hand. Unless you're a master... Uh, at making uh, like levieres uh, at this point in the game uh, with the little resources that we have. Um, I guess I wouldn't say little amount of resources, but uh, it's a bit lacking. Um, so what we're going to do now is special summon block dragon. We'll banish both of those and that's, and then we're going to go ahead and just link off into uh, another Saryuja, and we'll have a chain block for it too, which is nice, and we'll be drawn to some really good extenders. That's always the plan. Uh, chain link one Saryuja, chain link two Dante. Dante is going to recycle that graph way at the bottom, and then we're going to draw four cards. We draw Gallus, Gallus, uh, Danger Nessie, and Rescue Ferret. So Rescue Ferret's going to go back, this is going to go back, and so is the Nessie. We do not need Nessie uh, right now. Uh, sorry, dangers. Sometimes you're a little expendable, um, especially once the fossil dino is our hand. And honestly, like, if you really wanted to, you could keep the nasty because you're not. They're not going to hit all the level threes out of your hand. So if even they did hit fossil dino, you can give them that false hope and make a levier with all the level threes that you have. Um, but either way, we'll special summon Gallus. We're going to mill that. They're going to take six, uh, and then we're going to special summon this. And right now, uh, we're going to want to try and make. Uh, next uh, is the Avermax. Um, we might even have like uh, like a little extra to maybe make an Appaloosa here, but like Appaloosa is a bit late to the party if we're trying to stop Nibiru as like our sole thing to stop. Uh, if that's the main purpose of the Appaloosa, because they, I mean they probably have already Nibiru at this point. Let's be honest. Um, but I'm trying to decide how to get into an Avermax. Uh, I don't really want to use the BLS link. Um, but we might have to. We might have to, at the end of the day, use the BLS link to get there. And actually, as it stands, we don't even really need to make the Avermax because we have Gizmec in our grave, uh, and we can do whatever we want with that. So I guess, yeah, with having Gizmec in grave, this would go back to the top of their deck since that is what we milled off Gilus or Gallus. Um, we don't really need to even try to make Avermax. Um, and obviously it would be made a little bit trickier since we did have to use our Cerberus early on, uh, which sometimes can, you know, kind of trick you up a little bit uh, when trying to go for Avermax because using just like the, uh, the, the two Link 2s makes it very easy to get into. So we're just going to banish those. Uh, then we're going to Gizmec. 
uh, and we're gonna banish the eight. And we'll still have plenty for our nat beast. We'll have two, four, six, eight, just like that. Let's see what we banished. Not too big of a deal. The scrap recycler is banished, but it's face down, so we won't be able to reattach, unfortunately. Uh, then we're gonna go for Dingirsu. Uh, and now we can have Saryuja special summon Fossil Dina, just like that. Uh, and that's a much more resource efficient, I guess, way to do it. Um, we could technically summon both the Galluses and like make a Levier and do some other stuff with that and like just mess around, but we don't really need to. We want to conserve as much cards left in the main deck as possible. Two, four, six, eight. 10 so we can negate exactly five spells four spells actually because if we negate five then they can just pass and then we just lose um but i digress so yeah pretty successful board there uh dingirsu coming in very very clutch uh for when we'd have a very hard time making avermax otherwise so yeah let's go ahead and do the last and final test hand of the video all right so we're on to the last test hand of the video hopefully it's a banger uh because who knows this maybe might be the last test hand video with block dragon ba based on what the ban list has to say. Who absolutely knows? Uh, this is an interesting hand. We have Nessie, we have Double Block Dragon, Tracker, and Sierra Kyber. So uh, with this hand, I, I don't want to burn our normal summon right off the bat because we technically don't have to. We can sort of gamble uh, and pay the, you know, maybe pay the Piper uh, if things don't pay out the way we are hoping they will. Um, because one thing we could do is, you know, we could Nessie and maybe they hit the tracker and, uh, you know, maybe tour guides the next card on the top of the deck. We don't know that. Um, or it could be like a Hydralander and then we're out of luck where we is at that point, you know, right now we have a way to get to Cherubini, uh, you know, but if one of these gets hit out of our hand, uh, that opportunity quickly fades and we do really need to rely on drawing one off of the Nessie, uh, if it goes through even. So, I'm going to just commit the normal summon to that Sea Archiver, and I'm going to special on the Psychic Tracker, uh, and then I'm going to go all the way into Cherubini and do the whole uh, song and dance to send, uh, again, probably Rhino Warrior with this particular hand uh, for the extra Earth because, well, I was we haven't made, uh, you know, a Cherubini yet with, like, what is it, uh, like, Math Man and Gallus and stuff like that. We're not super plentiful on, plentiful on Earths here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to send the Rhino for the Graph for the Seer. Now, once all those, uh, you know, sort of key engine requirements are out of the deck, uh, we're going to go ahead and use Nessie and see what we can make happen here. So we're just going to go ahead and shuffle these around and randomly choose one. Uh, I don't have any dice nearby, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, snag this one over here. It's the Block Dragon. Uh, that means the Nessie will get summoned and we'll draw a card. It's Gigantes, not the greatest. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have one, two, three, uh, four, five Earths. Um, we we do have a way to get uh, you know everything, the whole ball rolling here. Uh, so I'm gonna summon this Block Dragon here. We're gonna banish this, this, and this other block. I don't really like banishing Block Dragon. But if we have to, we have to. And then that Sierra Kyber is going to come in very clutch here to help complete our Dante, which we desperately need. Let's see what we mill. Uh, Foolish Burial, Giant Rex, and Orbital Hydrolander. All right, not too bad. Now we're going to go ahead and link all of these off into Saryuja. And we're essentially off to the races here. Chainlink 1, Saryuja. Chainlink 2, Block Dragon. Chainlink 3, Seer. Chainlink 4, Dante. We'll go get those other sort of engine requirements out of the main deck. Uh, Gigantes and Fossil Dyna are uh, our additional extenders, if you want to call them that. Uh, and then we'll cut the deck and we'll draw uh, our four cards Dotscaper, Sangan, Gigantes, and I was hoping to turn over a copy of Rescue Ferret, but we're not that lucky. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and start putting some things back. We're going to go with that. Uh, the Snack, easy. Uh, and hmm, what else? We have three copies of. Of Gigantes in our hand. Uh, I'm gonna put back one of the Gigantes just because I don't think we need three currently. Uh, now we can special summon Sangan off of the Saryuja and we can go ahead and special summon Gigantes by banishing the giant Rex that'll just get summoned out immediately. Yeah I think what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and link again uh, using all of these uh, well, yeah, we're just going to go right into another Saryuja. I, I don't really think there's a point in trying to make it curious just yet. 
we'll test our luck to see if we can't get uh, some more card advantage. So Sangan is actually going to be chain link one. This will be chain link two. Dante will be chain link three here still, luckily. We're going to add back Graf. We're going to draw one, uh, two, three, four. It's good that we drew a Gilasaurus because we can go get another Gilasaurus. Uh, yeah, since we don't have one uh, in our graveyard. So we're going to put back this. We're going to put back Jackalope, and we're going to put back the Block Dragon. Uh, so it's actually nice that we got to draw those cards, like Gilasaurus and Leonis. And we're going to go ahead and grab uh, another Gilasaurus off of the Sangan effect here, resolving lastly. Uh, because I believe uh, Sangan uh, is a mandatory effect, much like Saryuja's attack uh, you know, modification effect is mandatory. Uh, Sangan's is as well. So now we're going to go ahead and special summon Leonis via its own effect. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and special summon Block Dragon now. Uh, by banishing the Dotscaper, uh, this Gilosaurus, and this, uh, we'll banish the Saryuja, keep things simple. Uh, and then we're going to use the Dotscaper here to summon itself. So I'm actually going to summon this Dotscaper over here, but we have a Beast, a Dinosaur, and a Rock. So I'm actually going to use these three monsters to make Curious. Uh, that way we can use this Dotscaper to make Lingaribo, because otherwise I don't think we would have had a Lingaribo play, since our Sea Archiver has already been exhausted. Uh, but now we're going to use uh, Curious to dump the recover, which is conveniently on the bottom of the deck for us. And then we're going to go ahead and mill three random cards off the top. Hopefully they're good and worthwhile. Uh, Orbital Hydralander, Mecha Phantom Beast Lion, and a copy of Tour Guide. We'll definitely take that free token, uh, which I'm going to put right there. We're going to go ahead and link this off into Lingaribo. I had to go back and rethink that because I was like, oh, if we if we you know link off that Dotscaper like that after using its effect... You know, we're, we're not going to have uh, a way to make Lingaribo, which is, you know, not having Lingaribo is kind of a liability at some time, or sometimes because, uh, you know, you're really losing, uh, you know, risk the chance of losing heavily to Impermanence or uh, Evenly Match. So now uh, comes the time to be able to make Nat Beast. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in the extra deck. So we can go ahead and special summon uh, Gigantes. We'll banish the Leonis, and then we'll summon Recover. Just like that, uh, we'll synchro, this gets banished, that will hit the grave. This will go here. Now, we do need to make Avermax here. Uh, so what we're going to do is special summon Gilosaurus via its own effect. Link off the token uh, and the Gilosaurus uh, for these two here. Uh, we'll put the Avermax right here in the center. And then we're going to go ahead and summon Block Dragon one last final time. That, that, and that can all go. And then sorry, uses effect here lastly for that Fossil Dino Patches of Follow. Uh, and that is full combo for the last and final test hand. Hopefully I did not uh, mix things up because I did have to go repair the board state uh, for that Lingaribo play, but I think I did everything correctly. Um, I just had to use the Giant Rex with the Leonis and the Block Dragon uh, as opposed to using, uh, you know, the other options, which have, would involve us linking off the Lingaribo for, or uh, the, the uh, where is it, uh, Dotscaper for uh, Curious as opposed to linking off for Lingaribo. But yeah, you get the point. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If, uh, of course, if you did, be sure to leave a like, uh, leave a comment, possibly share it with a friend or two. That does help out greatly. And also consider checking out our links uh, to our sponsors down in the description below. Some great ways to help support me and the channel. Uh, it really does mean a lot. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, here's to Block Dragon not getting banned um, in the next ban list and staying at three. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, when we kill Santa, we'll see you guys in the next one.